Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I explain to you how to automatically copy files, to another folder using patch file, that is, you can automatically copy files within a specific folder, to another folder, whether this folder is on the same hard disk, on a shared folder, or on an external hard disk. After that, I will create a scheduled task to run the batch file you created. I will explain this to you step by step. For example, if I have a folder called work, and I want to copy all the files inside this file automatically, to another folder, the first thing you need to do, is create the batch file, so right click on any free space on your desktop, click new, then select text document. Then, open the text file, and type the command that appears in front of you on the screen. I will leave this command for you in the description of the video. Type xcopy, and then enter the path, of the folder into which you want to copy the files, then the path of the folder into which you want to move the files after, copying and follow the rest of the command, as shown in front of you on the screen. After that, click on file from the top, and select save as, and save the file anywhere you want, but save it as a batch file, that is, you write at the end of the name.bat and click the save button. You can now close the text file, and you will find the batch file on your desktop. If you double click on the batch file, it will immediately copy all the files, that you specified in the folder, to the path of the other folder whose path you entered, in the text file. If you create new files on the original folder, or the main folder, and run the batch file, it will automatically copy all the old and new files. That is, you can modify old files, and they will be copied with the modifications. This is the first step. But if you want the batch file to run automatically, I will create a scheduled task, that runs the batch file regularly. So open the search tab from the task bar, and type task scheduler, and from the search results click on the task scheduler tool. After that, expand the task scheduler library folder from the left, then right click on the task scheduler library, and select new folder. Then enter an appropriate name for this task, so you can easily access it later, and click the OK button. Then right click on the folder you just created, and select create task. Then, under the general tab, name your task. Enter an appropriate name for the task, such as copy files, for example. After that, click on the triggers tab, and then click on the new button. In this step, select or set the frequency of the task based on your requirements. I will make it daily. That is, it will copy the files daily, and also specify the time, you want based on your requirements, and thus it will run the batch file daily, and at the same specified time without any intervention from you as a user. After specifying these settings based on your requirements, click on the OK button, then click on the Actions tab, and at the bottom click on the New button. In front of the Action field, Select the Start a Program option, then, click on the Browse button, and locate the batch file, in order to add the batch file, to the task, and click OK. Then click on the Conditions tab. If you are using a laptop, this automatic task will only run when your laptop is connected to the charger. If your laptop is running on battery, the task will not run. To prevent this from happening, uncheck both the Start the Task only if the computer is on the C Power option and stop if the computer switches to battery power. After that, click on the OK button, and the task will be added to the custom tasks folder, in the task scheduler, and check the status of the task is ready. Don't forget if you create a task to automatically copy files, to an external hard drive, this hard drive must be connected to your computer. I hope the video is useful to you. And thank you for watching. I also hope you subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.